Hi, I'm Katie. Thanks for joining me today. I am here with your daily tarot transmission. We got some big dogs today and it honestly does not surprise me at all because uh, we have a new moon that went into effect yesterday at 9 p.m. I just put up a new moon reading on YouTube so if you are interested to see how this new moon will be bringing transformation in your life and you know what your rising sign is, go check it out and uh, give me some feedback. I would love it. Um, so the cards that we have today actually reference a lot of what's going on in the stars. Doesn't surprise me at all, right? We got these three cards today. We have the death card, we have the chariot, and we have the lovers. So first let's talk a little bit about the death card. The death card is ruled by Scorpio and it's not talking about actual physical death. It's speaking about transformation on large scale. Like, consider plutonium force, like nuclear weapons. It totally obliterates situations. There's no turning back from it. Transformation is a quality of, you know, if we look at the butterfly and the process it, it goes through in becoming or going through, like, first it's just a little caterpillar. And then it has to get like gooey and gross and soft and mushy and then it develops into the most beautiful creature that we get captivated by all summer long called the butterfly. And the only way that it's able to do that is by going through transformation. And right now we are all going through transformation on a pretty large scale. Uh, we have our new moon in Scorpio today. So that's why this card doesn't really surprise me all that much. Um, the new moon in Scorpio means that there are new beginnings that are uh, of transformative nature that are going to be actualized and materialized over the next six months because in six months time we'll have a full moon in Scorpio. And so depending on uh, what your rising sign, this transformation is going to show up in different areas of your life. Um, we're also currently experiencing um, some shifts in planetary energies, uh, one of which mentions this second card that we are that we pulled for today as well. And uh, we have currently an opposition between Venus and Mars, and then a square relationship between Venus and Jupiter and Venus and Pluto. And so Venus is uh, undergoing a lot of friction right now. You know, our, our relationships um, and people that we care about are going through a lot right now. That is very challenging. And what's interesting when you consider that, you know, we have Venus over here in Libra and we have Mars over here in Aries and then we have you know, Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter all up here in the 10th house, or not necessarily in the 10th house, for you it might be in a different house, but they're all up here in Capricorn. The fourth peg of the table is in Cancer, and there's no planet sitting in Cancer, but it, it's a telling of where we're going to find support and stability and what needs support and stability in our life. And Cancer, in its traditional rulership, governs our relationships, our family, our tribe, and this card governs cancer. So to have this card show up as our second card, it's, you know, asking us to reflect in, you know, when we go out into life and we do the things that we need to go out into the world, you know, we kind of turn our back towards, you know, our tribe because, you know, we have to leave we have to leave the actual village to go out into the world and do things. Um, but it's important to go back and visit the village, you know, and, and to consider, you know, what is actually driving us to go out into the world and what's important for us, what relationships are important to us and what needs to be nurtured right now amidst all of this change that's happening right now in the world. So this is telling that there are some big shifts happening right now that is, um, you know, what is calling us, like there, there are, there's some inner dialogue as far as like what actually drives us to go out into the world that's being transformed right now. The third card that we have for the day is the lover's card. And the lover's card is 
a card that is uh, associated with Gemini and it's ruled by Mercury and Mercury <laughs> right now is about to uh, come into conjunction with the moon and Mercury is all about how we see things and language and communication and so you have this meeting of you know new beginnings and this planet that's all about messages from the from the gods and communication and those are in opposition right now to Uranus which uh, Uranus has been creating a lot of change in for the last year and a half but what Uranus does is it's kind of like that lightning bolt energy that comes in and lights up the sky and new things can be seen and then things that are outworn and preventing us from actually having progress in our lives tumble to the ground and we see what's actually there and and what's essential for us to do in life. So having this uh, opposition between Uranus and the moon and Mercury is like an epiphany, like a lightning epiphany or lightning communication, some kind of way that we're either seeing things or hearing things that greatly transforms our direction and where we're moving forward in over the next six months. Um, so having, you know, three major arcana show up in a three card reading is like three for three. Major arcanas in the tarot are life lessons that we don't get to just like casually walk away from. They're things that create big shifts in understandings and how our lives uh, go and the direction that our journey goes. And so we are quite literally in a pretty big time of transformation right now. If you want to hear more about astrological transits that are happening, I invite you to go to my YouTube channel. I just uh, put up a video about that today that briefly describes it. If you'd like to get a snapshot of how these transits are affecting you personally, uh, we can set up some time to do that if you'd like. Um, but I just wanted to say I think it's really interesting and cool um, that these cards showed up today because we're all actually experiencing these transits in a really profound way and keep in mind that with us having a new moon uh, went became new moon last night at 9 p.m. and so we're we're planting the seeds for something that is greatly transformative in our lives today and we will see it manifest over the time that the Scorpio goes through the phases of the moon and the moon th moves through all of its phases, but Scorpio won't be full until April. So the seeds that we're planting right now, uh, we will actually see them manifest kind of in spring. Like if you consider um, like the seeds or the, the trees and perennials right now are drawing all of their energy inward towards their roots and then they'll be coming about in the spring. It's a very similar energetic to what we are all experiencing right now with the transformations that are being planted in our life at this moment. So I encourage you all to use language around things that you want to create that is positive and is open-ended rather than it being limiting and negative. Um, and to consider that it's only our own sense of... Uh, perspective that actually limits how we manifest in the world. There's so many more possibilities and so much more potential than any one of us actually has experienced and all of that is out there waiting to be actualized. And so that transformation, you know, I mean, who who could have ever imagined that a caterpillar would become a butterfly, right? I mean, why? You know, I mean, we have so many examples of miraculous transformations in our world, and we are a part of that as well. And so is this global environment that we all live in. And so we are all part of that new beginning. We're all creating it. And first, we create it with us. I send you a good wish and a blessed transformation. I'll see you soon. Much love to you. Bye.